welcome back to London. Tonight, I thought we'd start on Piccadilly at the Ritz Hotel, a luxury hotel with a Rolls Royce parked in front of it. Tonight, I'm gonna share some more of London's amazing festive Christmas lights with you. Tonight, I'm gonna to head to Bond Street, which is one of London's famous shopping streets here in town, synonymous with global luxury brands and luxury goods. Watch that step. Bond Street is effectively two streets. Old Bond Street and New Bond Street. But as I was saying, it's home almost exclusively to some of the world's most luxurious brands selling some of the world's most luxurious goods. Tonight, the lights have been switched on, so it will be hosting, the stores will be hosting a number of parties for, I guess, customers, brand ambassadors. AKA celebrities. So, we'll go and check out the lights. Sadly, I've not been invited to any parties. I guess a prerequisite is uh, either A, you need to be a customer, or uh, B, a celebrity, which I'm neither. And they're probably fine for bar staff. I do actually supply at least one, maybe two stores on this street. But sadly, I can't, I can't disclose who, either privately or publicly. Typical YouTuber stuff. Well, that would be the end of our relationship. But I always wonder where they're going to end up. And of course, how much. Both you have to ask, I can't afford them. But the lights look amazing. Check this out. This ends Old Bond Street. As you can see, we're kicking off with De Beers Diamond. Alexander McQueen. I actually went to Alexander McQueen to buy my girlfriend's scarf here. I think it was probably the last time I came shopping here. They didn't have the model in the colour I wanted, so I suggested I went to Harrods, which I did. Harrods did have the model in the colour I wanted, and the lady in Harrods said, uh, so you should always come to Harrods first. So, from now on, from then on I have. Um, Danks. Virtu, mobile phone company, division of Nokia. Vacheron and Constantine watches. Gucci. Jaeger Lacoutre watches. Prada. Um, Yves Saint Laurent. We'll be approaching um, Tiffany's London store. Cartier. The list goes on and on and on. I often wonder what's the most prestigious. I'm guessing Old Bond Street is the most prestigious address, but the list of luxury brands seems to go on and on. Um, maybe the ones at this end have more capital than venture capital as opposed to the other end, but I really don't know. I think that the, on the New Bond Street side of things, the, um, the square foot of the stores is slightly bigger, but they're starting to get bigger here rather than the small boutiques there. But, kind of where Old Bond Street ends and New Bond Street begins. So yeah, that's the section of Old Bond Street. Just 
quickly show you another amazing, amazing shopping arcade here. Again, synonymous with luxury goods. Very small square foot though, so there's only certain things you can sell in here. Burlington Arcade. Yeah. Shut at the moment. Oh, yeah, it looks incredible. It will look even better with its Christmas decorations in it in a few days or weeks' time. decorations on New Bond Street. So yeah, here, Snivels, Cartier London, Boodles, Graf Diamonds. Definitely an amazing place, even to come window shopping, and if you're lucky enough to uh, uh, the means to shop here. I guess you're very lucky. streets are uh, again home to luxury brands. Fabergé London, Rolex flag, I'm guessing though that's Asprey's Rolex flag, push on, and watch brand protect for thee. Barely even getting started on uh, New Bond Street here. English Shoe Brand Churches. Right, I'll stop talking and show you the lights. enjoyed this trip to um, first of all Piccadilly 
Old Bond Street, New Bond Street. Look at the Christmas decorations. Some of the luxury stores here. It's been a bit of a one take one that this, uh, this video, this vlog. It's definitely worth a trip here, especially when the stores are open to do some window shopping. And uh, it connects Piccadilly at that end and Oxford Street at this end. So um, if you're walking between the two, it's, uh, it's a great way to um, connect the two. Smell cigars. I love the smell of I've never been a fan of the uh, smoking of them. Maybe it'll grow on me. It seems to be an old man sport. There's time and money. I'm sure you can buy those here as well. Well, I know you can, it's in James's. Okay, I think the private parties are starting here. It's Bell staff, and we've got some amazing looking cars here. Check out this. Is that a Jack? Vintage Jack? Check this out. <laughs> that old bucket. <laughs> We're joking. What even is that? A monstrosity. I don't even know what that is, or was rather, but this looks amazing. If you know what that is, parked outside Bell Stuff, let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'm guessing that's a Mark 1 Land Rover Defender. Let's go and get a closer look at these cars. Bellstaff's an amazing brand actually. I believe they're Italian. They are, were British, I believe they're Italian. Oh, Bellstaff's brand with amazing potential with his history and assets it hasn't really been fully exploited. I always used to wear them when I had a motorbike driving around town. I used to wear not the, the cool um, vintage ones but the more modern motorcycle clothing and uh, it was very good. Um, and just a few years ago it really wasn't very expensive, it's become very fashionable now and uh, although having said that I think the actual proper motorcycle clothing does actually keep you warm and dry it's quite reasonable but yeah I've still got it it's very good but uh, anyway I'm waffling now ah final store I knew there was a reason I kept rolling um, the department store here <laughs> I never know how you're supposed to pronounce it it's, uh, Fenix or Fenwicks? I'm guessing Fen Fenix or Fenwicks. All right. If you know how it's pronounced phonetically, let me know in the comments below. Fenix or Fenwicks? Fenwick. It's not even an S on the end. Fenix or Fenwick? Celebrating 125 years. Super popular department store. Yeah, on street. Very popular American underwear store. What a finale! It's one take one, just getting better. Salvation Army back.
weren't really hyped up for that, were they? Zoom them around, was them a, woo, a round of applause. She could have used that tin as a percussion, I reckon. Rattled that tin a bit more. Raise some more cash. Right, that really is it. Yeah. They're quite good for videos, the Salvation Army, but I have had their stuff before um, copyright flags, believe it or not. They rip stuff off. It's not that they've copyrighted it. They, uh, it's not their own original content, unfortunately. Right, I'm going to call it a day. The camera's flashing at me. Till next time, hope you enjoyed this trip to uh, Old Bond Street, New Bond Street. Border me yakking on and cut off. Right, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video, this vlog, this uh, trip to um, Piccadilly, Old Bond Street, New Bond Street. So until next time, from Victoria's Secret. Toodles. time I've coveted a pair of this guy's boots. The suede Chelsea boots. RM Williams. They're handmade in Australia, so maybe I should admit that. Should be sticking to British made brands. But um it's just quite a good design. But yeah. When I start doing brand deals, it's gonna get nuts. Right, doodles.